you that are still there yeah there was one thing I, else I wanted to mention um, this is what I I'll also put it down below so you can watch the video yourself but there was a video of a guy that used to write for the Watchtower Society and does not believe in the Watchtower he doesn't believe in God and I was, I'm a little, you know, it seems like all of them are like that. What's going on? You know? There's only two sides, you know. There's the side of the devil and there's the side of God. So they're still on, the, they left the Watchtower Society because it was an error. And they give up God, the, the God, the truth. I'm really wonder, you know, who are these people really working for? I wonder sometimes, you know. But I asked them, I says, I just cannot understand why ex-Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe in God anymore. Their whole faith was in man? What the hell? I guess so. That was my comment. And he answered me. He says, because the skepticism, skepticism required to break free of brainwashing often results in realizing there isn't a good reason to believe any of it. Those are my reasons anyway. They're phonies, man. That's what I saw about them when I went into their kingdom hall. They're a bunch of phonies. They didn't even believe in God. This guy admits it. And most of them do now that leave. Well, we didn't believe in God anyway. Or, you know, we believed in it. We believe in words of Jesus, but we still want to practice women's liberation. We don't want to be submissive to a man. Or what else have they got going? Uh... We want to believe we would believe in the Trinity now, or uh, there's a hundred different things that go out. They leave the truth of God's word. They follow paganism, you know, and that's the reason why I'm making this video because I don't understand it. And I'm trying to help these people. Don't you understand? The ones that ever did ever know God, they'll understand. And I, and I, it's hard to reach those that are Jehovah's Witnesses because they won't look at anything but what their boys tell them, that governing body. They look at them as Jesus Christ. And they've got to be a little bit, you know, done, done slow, you know. Not done, can't you see what's going on? But they're not allowed to see anything. They're told that there'll be enemies of Jehovah that they look at anything not authorized by this governing body. And where does this governing body get their information? They get it off the internet. They go looking at all this stuff. They're free to look, but they don't want you to look. You see how evil that is? Well, that's because you're not, you're not qualified. Well, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of you, a lot of them aren't qualified. They don't even believe in God at all. But why fake it, man? Why pretend you do so you can be part of a a, a new world order or some scheme that you think is going to get you eternal life? Do you really believe that? Pretending to be somebody you're not is going to ever get your eternal life i mean see I, I don't really understand it you know but you are free you know you are free to seek for the truth jesus says seek all that seek shall find you know you have a doubt about something seek you're free in jesus christ he never wants you to be the deaf and dumb slave that's not of god that's of satan that's what satan wants you to be because he knows that anybody that sees is going to reject him he leads the blind into the ditch. He's not blind. He knows he's going into the ditch. He knows what he's doing. But everybody that follows him don't know. They're greedy. You know. So don't even be greedy for your uh, <clears throat> eternal life to that extent where you believe that God is that wicked. You know. Because Jesus, he that seeks to save his soul shall lose his soul. You know. That's the word there. That's the Greek word. Uh, sometimes it's translated life, you know. Yeah, you, even the, even somebody that seeks to save his eternal life by believing these false prophets. Same thing. You don't want to you don't want to lose your soul. Don't take the mark of the beast because they're going into a cashless society now, pretty soon, where nobody will be able to buy or sell except you except you receive a mark. The, in Israel, they're waiting for their Messiah to come. They're still waiting for him. They're building, ready, getting ready to build a temple, the third temple. They got the red heifer. They got everything ready. They're, ready, they're just waiting for their Antichrist, who's going to annihilate all enemies of the Jewish people, because they're the chosen ones, you see, the ones that hated and rejected Jesus Christ and still do. 
So everything's happening now. Everything, all the Freemasons are under their control. They control everything. They have the whole world, the inheritance that was to be to, for Jesus Christ. Ask of me that I may give the nations for thine inheritance and the ends of the earth for thy possession. And when, the, and when they saw the, the heir, the son, they said, let's kill him and seize on his inheritance. Remember that parable? That's what they want to take from Jesus. They think they got the whole world now. This world isn't being run by God. It's being run by Satan. Jesus didn't return in 1914. Return where? To the earth? What the heck is he doing? Even Jehovah's Witnesses will tell you that they're not dividing the sheep from the goats. That's going to happen during the Great Tribulation. Also, who's going to be the faithful and discreet slave? They also that's say that's going to, we're going to find out who that is in the Great Tribulation. So, so you've got different powers in there, evil powers, you know. Don't, don't, and, and, and possibly those that are honest, you know. So don't listen to the evil powers. Because the ones that are in there for the good, they're trying to help you. And the evil ones are trying to destroy you. You know, and I believe that there are people in Jehovah's Witnesses that are loyal to God, that love God. And they're going to want to lead you in the right way. You know, that's just my instinct. Because I heard a couple of years ago, I went to a talk and it, and it was like, the, the title of the talk that Jehovah alone is loyal. I said, why? It was a beautiful talk. I said, that's what, it, that's what we need. Don't trust in man. Trust in Jehovah. And like they were saying, uh, uh, but through Jesus Christ, you know. Those that are smart and discreet will do so. But um, they were saying the same thing like 1975. Well, those people, they trusted in, they weren't trusting in Jehovah. That's why they were disappointed by the, the year 1975. You should just trust in Jehovah. Don't listen to men. That's what it is, you know. But they're not willing to repent. Indeed, there's evil people in there, you know. How many, I don't know. But beware and keep, stick to Jesus Christ's words, you know. If you have to be in there, if you want to be in there for family, just keep your mouth shut, you know. Just pretend, you know, <laughs> if you want to. But remember, to, you're in there to save people. You're in there to help them see the light. You're in there to help them. Don't take the mark of the beast. Because they're, they're, they're dead forever. God says, they're not one of them is found written in the Lamb's book of life. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. So if you're in there, keep your friends, the one you love, keep them informed. Especially when that time comes. If there's any faithful ones left in there, I don't even know. you got to be awake, man, and aware. You can't be walking around like a dunce. Believe in any, anything anybody tells you. Check it out. Well, I'm representing God. And is that all it needs? Oh, we got a suit and tie and all that, you know. Can't you believe us? <laughs> I mean, you got to be free. You're free. God paid you a great price for your freedom. You take it and use it. And he says, I give you power to... Trample underfoot all snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. You don't have to fake it. I can't fake it. I, I am who I am. I'm not going to pretend to be a, a clown. You know, I'm not going to be beneath what's beneath me. You defile yourself that way. That's why a lot of them are lost and they don't believe in God anymore. They don't know what they are. They're just... In some kind of a fog, you know, confusion, just going along with it because they don't know any better. You need to know better, know the truth, and it'll make you free. <laughs>